These are some Dinar Guru updates from Bruce Frank 26, Militia Man Mark Z. Okay, Bruce via Wiser now. There are meetings happening in the White House at 11 a.m. and 11 p.m. every day. That is interesting to me because this is a notice they are 12 hours apart way to monitor the progress of the process. See something that needs to be done, tweak the process. In other words, it's a way for them to keep up with everything that's going on globally in this process. And I'm encouraged by that. It tells us they are on it basically 24-7. Frank 26, question, why are they, U.S. and Iraq, going to do the first currency swap at a program rate? In my opinion, it's brilliant. The first swap is to be advantageous to Trump in the United States of America and the American citizens and taxpayer. The first swap is at the program rate, fills in the cupboards of the United States Treasury with a low-costing dinar. Then a second swap at a new rate fills not only the CBI with their financial potential for their economy, citizens, international trade, all of this, but it also acts as a loan fill-ins for the budget. In my opinion, the 2021 budget will come out ready with a new exchange rate. Trump is doing like we did, getting dinar at a low price. Okay, Militiaman article quote, Deputy 35 trillion dinars are stored with the people who refuse to deposit them in banks. Once they bring or add purchase power to the new small category notes, the liquidity will begin to absorb those large amounts of notes. The sooner the better, in my opinion. Okay, Mark Z via PDK, I'm still hearing positive things. There's still the possibility of a vote in Iraq on the budget. Maybe a temporary rate or interim budget until the real one comes out late in their evening, which for us is at any moment now. I hear this will be our sign that everything has been triggered. There's a lot of really positive chatter out in the Middle East right now. On the banking side in Asia, Europe, and even the U.S., they're still sitting on go with no release yet. We are in a strange lull. I think it's the lull before the storm. We are getting into that perfect launch period.